Welcome back to this channel for practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Ostaszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. My advice on how to pass actuarial exams can be found at smarturl.it forward slash pass. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. You can find information about it at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. If you would like to make a tax-deductible donation to support our students, please go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's the problem for today. For exam IFM, Investments in Financial Markets, you are given the following information about a portfolio consisting of stocks X, Y, and Z. The investment in stock X is 10000 expected return is 8000 Investment in stock Y is 15,000. Expected return is 12 uh, 12%. And uh, investment in stock Z is 25,000. And expected return is 16%. Calculate the expected return of the portfolio. So the main observation is that the expected return of the portfolio is the market value weighted expected return average market value weighted average of the expected returns of the uh, components of the portfolio and investment the, the total value of the portfolio by the way is 50,000 so investment x is 10 over 50 so 20 percent of the portfolio investment y is 15 over uh, 50 so 30 percent of the portfolio and investment Z is 25 over 50, so 50% 50 of the portfolio. So the solution relies on that observation. We have a total value of the portfolio of 50,000, 20% in stock X, 30% in stock Y, 50% uh, in stock Z, and then we take the weighted average of the returns of the expected returns of those stocks. 0.20 times 8% plus 0.30 times 12% plus 0.5 times 16% um, and that's 13.20% answer E. Please remember this is copyrighted material. The problem itself belongs to the Society of Actuaries. The solution is mine.